Howdy folks, I'm Max Stevens and I buy old records. Just going to do a preamble to my latest uh, video here, which uh, it's been about eight days since I've done one. I'm getting ready here. I've got on my I buy old record shirt, got on my brand new glasses, which look like every other pair I've owned with these handy little old Dollar Tree $1 holders, which aren't much good, but they keep them around my neck because I always scratch these things. But I've got on my generic I buy records t-shirt, stupid dockers, comfortable, but just, eh. So, what's this rockabilly guy doing dressed up like a dang square? Like, uh, you know, well, there's some psychology involved. Oh yeah, there is. I make up most of what I say, but this is actually well thought out, which is a rarity for me. Thinking out things, I'm more of a reactor than a thinker. Uh, lizard brain just kicks into gear. So anyway, um, plain t-shirt with the message, I buy old records. I need to put that again. I need to emblazon that on my record player I carry around. I keep forgetting to because I have so many people stop me because of this shirt, the record player, or the signs on my car. You buy records? Yes, I do. And then the conversation's open. Sometimes it's, follow me. And they take me out into the woods to attend shed, which is a hog pen. And then I promptly turn around and drive off quickly. Or maybe that hog pen's full of records. Works for me. That's part of it, advertising. The Dockers, I love my old Levi blue jeans. They're not that comfortable when I'm getting in and out of a car or walking a, a hot uh, flea market all day long. No, that just doesn't work. Got to go for comfort. Also, too, I've gone decked out in my my fancy shoes and, you know, a really slick, you know, cat clothes and all that and look for records. First thing some people had said, oh, you're looking for those old rockabilly records. And I see the dollar bills up in their heads. I don't want them thinking that. I just want them to think he's of modest means, a low economic status. Let's just get these records sold. I knew a guy, well, I met him twice. He contacted me, you buy old records? Yes, I do. He said, uh, let, me, uh, let me show you what I have. So I met him in a parking lot. He showed up in a Jaguar. He was in a suit and he said, I am a picker. He'd been watching TV. Bless his heart, wasn't that cool? He'd been watching TV and wanted to be a picker. Well, he uh, opened up the trunk of his car and he had a bunch of 78s, like it was the crown jewels. Oh my, it was junk, except for that one Paramount 78. Woo, Rube Lacey, uh, Mississippi Jailhouse Grown. It looked unplayed. Best Paramount 78 I've ever found. It resides in New Orleans right now, where it is happy, where I was very, very well paid for it. So, he, told me all about, you know, what he was doing. Within six months, he was out of business doing something else. You can't go dressed up like you're the king of England or wherever they have kings and uh, expect people, A, to either take you seriously or B, not to fleece you royally, no pun intended. So, there you have it. I'm up to f almost five minutes on this rant. For the rest of the day, I'm going to do some orders that I have uh, pending. I got a wrap up a Hank Williams Sterling record, get it on out there to San Francisco. Then I get to go out and look for some records locally. Hit some of my regular haunts and just enjoy. Bear with me, hang with me. Sorry for all the, just the talking with no action. Ah, don't hate me for my clothes. Love me. Well, all right, now it's time to go to the post office. Got to go see old Jacob and Ansi and all the cool people there. Well, there's only two of them anyway, so that's pretty much all. Very well run small post office that uh, knows what they're doing. Refreshing this time of year. Well, had somebody ask me recently, Mac, on that big jacket you're wearing, what is that? That's a badge. I don't know why, but it's an SU-76, a little Russian tank destroyer thing they cobbled together, and WW-2. I like World War II armor. And uh, had a 76.2 millimeter ratch boom anti-tank artillery piece type thingy that they stuck on a small, outdated tank chassis. They called it the Suka, the crews did. That meant bitch, or puta in Spanish. Anyway, yeah. I don't know why it's there, 
I stuck that on there one day and thought, I like that. It's a conversation piece and we just had the conversation. No more to be brought up. Post office, and then I'm gonna go out and look for some records. Well, all right. Change jackets because it's too hot with that big old heavy thing indoors. And I'm going indoors for a while. I'm gonna go check out book record stores, things like that, just locally, get myself back into it. It's been about a week, a little over a week since I've been looking. And uh, this should be fun. Hopefully I'll find some stuff. Just gotta get to flipping some records. Hey, I've got a lot of good records for sale as well on three Facebook groups and I sell privately. You see something you see on the uh, videos. If it's something primo, chances are it's gone real quickly. If not, or just, just holler at me anyway. Sometimes uh, I'll still have something. We'll get it out your way, one way or the other. All right, let's go. Well, who's I? I'm out looking for records again. Let's go do it. Why not? Well, well, I'm here at one of my favorite places. And I don't know where to start, so I'm just gonna start right here. Uh, hey, wait a minute. That looks like my writing. Sometimes I sell records to places, and then I look through them all over again. So Skeets McDonald's, 45 cents each, 50 cents each, yes. So there's capital sleeve going that capital record. They got stuff in, man. Look at this. Oh, that is so cool. Neat. I think they got a few thousand on the other side as well. McVoy. Oh, it's BF though. But that is Rockabilly from Memphis. I don't know what that is. I don't think it's a soul or anything like that. Jimmy Elledge. Hold it. I think it's country, but he did one remarkably good soul record that brings a lot. I think it's on Soul Town, and I found it here. Oh, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. Keeps me coming back. Ooh, Pat Boone. I don't care if it'd be a rare one. I'm not buying a Pat Boone record. Unless Elvis or somebody ought to get it. You have to keep up. I know people say, oh, do it slower so I can watch. Pervert. I mean, I like to watch sometimes, but man, I gotta get my work done. Not much so far. What? Okay, Jerry Lee on the sun. Yeah, I'll get it. Why not? Buddy Charles. He's an empty sleeve. Okay. So see, I get ten bucks for that. Jerry Lee Lewis. All day long. Maybe 12. I'd say I don't want to be greedy, but I'd like to be greedy. One by Glenn Barber. Well, I'll be 
start a rockabilly. That's him in later years when he was not a rockabilly anymore. So I hope y'all are all doing good. Hey, what is this? Oh no, no, sound effects record. I don't want it. You can have it if you want it. Hmm. Impeachment records? Oh no, no. I don't know what that is. It's about impeachment which you hear about a lot in the news nowadays and such, but that record is from 19, what, 74? Back when old Nixon was in power. Bears, I like bears. Bears? Yeah, those are bears. I like bears. The label's chewed up, but it's mint. BB King for 50 cents. Shoot, that's $5 record. Maybe a little more. Might as well take the profit. Mm. Somebody's blowing the phone up, but I'm not looking. I've been connected to that phone for a week now, getting stuff, doing stuff, listening to stuff, Reddit, all that junk. No. Little cover. I'm not finding much. This must have already been gone through a lot, and that's cool. Tomorrow I'm gonna to take a long trip somewhere. This doesn't want to. Here's proof that what goes round comes round. This church record is very familiar. It's just spoken word. It's my writing. I'm looking at my own old stuff. Isn't that great? And that's okay. I got other stuff in here that wasn't mine, but I think it's cute that I'm finding some of my own stuff again. Years ago, oh, it's been 20 years, I sold a bunch here. Came back a few years later, and they had finally put them out. Three, four years later, I recognized one by a group called the Zebras, I think. Or, no, it was a, on the Zebra label, it was a girl group. Turned out it was a $600 Northern Soul record, so I bought it back and sold it. I done some learning in the interim, and I was glad for that. And I did a quick pass through the 78s, wasn't anything. Got a few more 45s of interest. I'll show those off in just a little. Nothing rocking. Okay, I just got a few. I got a really good Hillbilly, Autry Inman. These things just go in the cheap group. Skeets McDonald, another country tune. BB King, I Can't Lose, which Sonny Fisher did a version of on Star Day. And then uh, kind of a soul dancer, Flatfoot Sam, which uh, I sold a 78 of that by TV Slim. He was not a transvestite. That was just his nickname. I think he ran a TV repair shop. Anyway, yeah, uh, going to go hit a few more places. I'm just getting back in the swing of things, enjoying. All right, unexpected estate sale, Thursday through Saturday. Usually stuff is gone immediately at an estate sale, if it's records and such. However, I've gone to a three-day estate sale on the last day. I've scored marvelously. It just, it just depends on who it is and what's around and yada, yada, yada. So here we are. Let's go. Wheel. A little five dollar cassette deck. I got one already. Okay. Nope. nope. Oh my gosh. There's some boring stuff here, man. What a cool cover. 
Ooh, you're ready, Martin. Huh. No. Okay. Somebody like Grady Martin. Ultimately, no. But at least they like Grady Martin. Looks like a painting of Peggy Hill. Square glasses, that'd almost be Hank. Okay, no love for me, that's all right. Let's go to another place. All right, got to the next place. Get my beauty mask on. <laughs> well, this place has shrunk quite a bit. Well, I think I've probably seen these many times, but at least they've been used around. Don't know what I'd do with it. Maybe a monitor. But I don't know if the speaker phones are good. Another bear. 1959 painting by somebody named Kale. Hmm. Oh, that's that. Well, that's probably it for today. I don't have that much else to go look for. If I see something, I'll stop. But I need to get home, get some orders all packed up. Go to go out and look for records tomorrow, so I gotta pack stuff, get it to the post office first thing. Ah, wish me luck. See you guys later.